Life can be scary sometimes when you think you're all alone. If you think you're just this body wandering around in a unsafe, hostile universe all by yourself, unprotected, disconnected, separate, just know you're not and something loosens when you start to realize that you are more supported than you have ever known possible. That any idea that you're separate or alone is nothing short of an illusion. You are so intimately connected to the oneness of everything with every being on the planet, with every star, with the wind and the trees and the birds and the animals and nature and the spirit world, the Elohim, the Devit Kingdom, it's all there to support you. Just take a moment to digest, be present, and if it's safe for you to do, so close your eyes and just allow yourself to feel that connection, the oneness with all things. Notice the part of you that thinks it's separate. Where do you feel that in your body right now? The part that perhaps is judging others, that's comparing you as better than or worse than anybody else. Notice the part of you that feels lonely or disconnected or not enough. The part that is missing something, a spiritual connection perhaps with divine or just not fully engaged with life, your life. Notice where you're judging someone or focusing on your own well-being in a kind, allowing way, positioning yourself as right or somebody else as wrong or vice versa. Just allow yourself to examine any ways in which you choose your own comfort over the well-being of others or the over the well-being of the planet is selfish, that is not. And know that none of this is your fault. It's just what you were taught or programmed or entrained to feel as wrong. And what if instead you acknowledge that you have a divine spark that animates you the chi, the life force, the God force within you. And what if this divine spark, your true nature, connects you to the divine spark of every other being, seen or unseen? What if we're all just drops in the ocean of possibilities and choice that are individual and unique to you but part of a greater whole where everything thrives, where there is no struggle here. What if you just allow yourself to access that collective consciousness because you are it and you always have been? What if God is in you and the plants and the animals and the insects and the earth and the trees, the birds and the bees. What if God is you and you are God? And that conflict that shows up as pain and war and suffering and disease, what if all of it 
is just divine energy, pure light energy animated, created by God, the divine itself, to experience itself through you and as you, the God particle of all things. Allow yourself to feel where the boundaries of you are no longer the singular thing, this solo body, that you are the energy of your consciousness and it seeps out of your body, beyond you into infinity, and it starts to merge into the infinity, the possibilities of all life forces beyond this universe. Become one with the animals, become one with the plants in the forest. Feel the oneness with the ocean, the mountains, the meadows, the rivers, the lakes, the soil, and all of Mother Earth and the sentient beings. Experience the oneness with the moon and the sun, with the planets, the solar systems, the galactic confederations that are all of the cosmos, the diamond light. Allow yourself to become a vessel for that diamond platinum light, the rays that connect you with all beings. Feel that pure diamond rays of platinum light connecting you down toward the golden molten lava core of the center of the earth and up through the top of your body connecting you to the Elohim, the star seeds. The cosmos itself as this beautiful web of connection that we call life, the tapestry that has no weaver. And notice the consciousness coming out more out of the top of your head, this beautiful white light connecting you as above as below so that you are this beautiful light transmitting up and up and up and grounding down, 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 connecting you in this beautiful web of oneness to all that is. Letting go and letting go any concerns or worries that you may have that separates you from all of life so that you can remember who you are in your true divine nature knowing that you are the divine itself as is everything and everyone else as all things equal moving beyond the small self into the expansiveness and the magnificence of your diamond light of the big self as you open your heart and drop any barriers holding you in that heavy space and filling you with compassion for yourself and every other being in this life and beyond We are one. We are all one.
you are loved, you are love, and so it is. Ahum. Uh -huh.